Hello, so in an ideal world this final video is happening with some like my beautiful Narnia scenes in the background but it's just too damn cold, it's about minus 20, it was minus 27 the other day so sorry you've got the apartment I'm staying in's backdrop. So I've just finished my final placement, so I visited four schools in this nearly a month's trip in Finland and I wanted to share with you my main takeaway from this. I will be going into more detail on specific areas over in the blog, so make sure you're subscribed over there if you want to hear more about that. So, the reason I came over here in the first place is because I am not happy with the British education system. There are too many students that I see in, in my world and in my teaching world that are not welcomed into our education system. In fact, the students I work with most of the time, those students with be behavioural difficulties um, and social, emotional and mental health issues, they're actually, on the whole, being excluded from our education system. And I have a problem with that. I have a real difficulty that now... Uh, I've seen it as early as the age of four, some of our students are being labelled, stamped, ka -ching. you are excluded from our education system and ergo our society. So I set up this trip to Finland because maybe like you, I'd heard that Finland had this kind of utopia idea around education and inclusion. And I have learned so much about creating a much more inclusive education system and that it is possible and this has excited me no end. There's a lot to digest but to really just break it down to the simple bits. First of all, nothing particularly different is happening in the classrooms as far as I can see. There is no magic pedagogy stick in Finland to be helping them to do different things than we are in the UK and I say that because I want to give some faith actually to my uh, UK colleagues that actually you know we are doing some really good work in the classroom. We really really are. The difference is, the reason that Finland can be so inclusive is because of their more balanced approach to academia and exams versus well-being and society in general. So every adult that I interviewed whilst I was here, I can't, I don't know how many that is, it's quite a few. Every single one I asked the same question. When your students leave here at the age of 16, if you've done your job right, what does success look like? And every single adult answered with essentially the same answer, in a different order, with different emphasis, but the same things. Firstly, if they have been successful, the student will be happy in themselves. They will be able to have a confidence enough in themselves to start pursuing a path that they are interested in. It might not be the overall job or dream, some of them won't know that, but that they are able to make the next steps in their journey. Also, it was emphasised how important it was that their students were able to um, cooperate successfully with others. And finally, how important it was that that student had the ability to learn. Some of the, some of the teachers went into a, this in a bit more depth for me and explained that, you know, Finland is very aware that we don't know what jobs are going to look like in 10, 20 years time. We, it's really hard for us to prepare them for that. But what we can prepare them for is the ability to learn and the ability to get on with others. A couple of staff also mentioned the fact that, you know, we have a lot of conflict and a lot of divide in our world at the moment. And they feel that it's important that students in Finland are able to be prepared for that to make positive social change in their own lives. This has been a really exciting discovery for me. So you can see it reflected in the way that, for example, the schools are structured. And there's a video, if you haven't seen it, about that, about staff structuring. It's very revealing about where the budget is in these schools and what they feel is important for positive student, student impact. It's also reflected in the society at wide in Finland, the fact that every single student receives a free school meal. You know, it's a very simple thing, but how many of us, hands up, have had to teach lessons where students haven't had breakfast and then they haven't had lunch? You know, that happens and it's really hard to teach students in that, in that circumstance. So could we take Finland's model and bring it over to the UK? No, absolutely not, because we have a completely different society, history, social services, infrastructure, etc. And 
you know, that might may feel a little bit sad. Okay, we can't take all these things. But the reason I wanted to share um, so much that I have whilst I've been here is because I want to start or even continue for some people inspiring and motivating us in the UK to know actually there are different approaches to education and to creating a system and an infrastructure that supports our students, their well-being, their mental health, so that they can learn, that they can be left to thrive and, and really fulfil their potential because the other stuff is already in place. So, I really, really hope that sharing this journey has started to um, give some ideas, started to spark some some thoughts, some conversations between you and your colleagues about, oh, they do that in Finland. Hang on a minute. I wonder if we could, or could we try? You know, let's let's see what else there, there possibly is. Because right at the moment, from my experience of education in the UK, something is not working. We are not including every child at the moment and people are slipping, students are slipping through our fingers. So please, if you have been inspired by this, please share it with other colleagues. Let's have more conversations going on. What else could we be doing in the UK? And I'd be really excited as well to hear about other countries' approaches. And let's find what works for us, what works for our fam families and our country in the state that it's in at the moment. So, when I return, as well as falling asleep for a few days because I'm a little bit saturated and I haven't really stopped and I've moved lots of times, um, I will also be presenting on my findings here in Finland and setting up conversations and workshops so that we might be able to reflect and learn from the practices over here. If you are a school or a local authority or a conference who is interested in me coming over, then do just get in contact. My website details will be somewhere. And meanwhile, please just share these ideas, share different approaches. You might not like them all, that's fine, but let's start questioning, let's see. This is a real call for arms for me. What can we be doing with our education system? How can we be improving as and doing things in a different way that becomes more inclusive for all of our students? Thank you so much for your support and your questions on my journey here. It's been a real pleasure and I look forward to meeting some of you in the flesh very soon. Terve. Hey, hey. Moi, moi.